Hello, and welcome back to A Walk in the Park, a monthly podcast from the City of San Jose's Parks, Recreation, and Neighborhood Services Department, also known as PRNS. I'm your host, Kieran, and I'm joined by two very special guests who we'll introduce in just a moment. This month, we're getting into the holiday spirit and talking all about generosity and giving back. Before getting into today's topic, um, may you please introduce yourselves and talk a bit about the program you work for. Let's start with Lauren. Hi, my name is Lauren and I am a volunteer coordinator for the Volunteer Management Unit at the City of San Jose Parks, Recreation and Neighborhood Services. Um, I help coordinate a program for volunteering across city parks. And it's a really wonderful way our community can come to our parks and make a big difference. Um, every week we go to a different park and we pick something to do to, I help choose tasks with the park supervisors um, for our community to help with, to uplift our parks. Um, I have a team of awesome, fantastic, wonderful recreation leaders who go out and lead these events. And it's my role to be in the background, making sure they have what they need so you have what you need when you go out to volunteer. It's a really wonderful program and I'm really proud to be in a part of it. That's amazing. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, and now Julian, please. Hello, my name is Julian Marmalejo. I am a community activity worker with Beautify SJ under the Neighborhood Litter Program. Uh, one of the primary things that we do at Beautify SJ in the Neighborhood Litter Program is schedule volunteer litter cleanups. Um, we give the power to the public and we give them access to resources so that they are able to clean up their own community. So uh, what that looks like is donations of litter sticks, vests, bags, gloves, um, unlimited amounts so that they're able to clean whatever they want. Um, another large thing that we do under the Neighborhood Litter Program is we schedule presentations with schools citywide where we go to schools and we teach kids about the dangers that litter poses to our local communities as well as our planet as a whole. And we kind of try to uh, teach them early so that way they can grow up learning uh, stronger habits and more healthy habits for our communities. That's awesome. Well, thank you both so much for taking the time to join me for this month's episode. We really appreciate it. Um, at the time that we're recording, Thanksgiving is only a week away and holidays like Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa are right around the corner. It is a very festive time of year. Um, so I would like to ask you both, um, what are you looking forward to most this holiday season? It could be anything. I'm really looking forward to um, getting together with my family. I'm very excited. My niece is going to be joining me for Thanksgiving this year. Oh, um, so exciting. Un unfortunately, where I'm going, it's going to be a little rainy. So we're planning all sorts of indoor activities, um, but we're just really thankful that we get to be together. Oh, that's awesome. Do you, um, is like the holidays, like kind of like the only time you get to um, like see like all of this side of your family? Well, we, we see each other periodically. Um, However, my family's kind of spread out a bit, and I, re I mean, relatively recently moved to this area, um, and uh, so I'm, I'm excited to get to see the kind of my my greater family. You know, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's totally fun. Very excited. Uh, Thanksgiving's my, uh, I think, my favorite holiday. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm really excited for you to meet and see all of your families. Excited that your niece is joining. Um, definitely drive safe in the rain because um, these storms are going to, it sounds like they're going to be a little crazy. Um, so definitely just be safe. Um, and as for Julian? Yeah, I think it's a lot of the same thing. Um, it's been pretty difficult to connect with family lately just because of everything going on. But I think I'm really looking forward to having that time off of work and off of school to really reconnect with them as well as uh, being able to spend time with my friends and uh, the other people I love. So uh, I think it's going to be like a kind of a surreal experience just because it's been a really long time since I've uh, been able to dedicate a lot of time to just my family and outside of things from work and school. So I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, I'm also extremely excited to eat 
a bunch of food on Thanksgiving. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to my auntie's turkey, I think, the most, because it's really good. Oh, that's awesome. I, I definitely agree with you both. Like, I'm very excited to see um, other, you know, members of my family that I haven't seen all year. And the food. I'm so, so excited for the food. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> so grateful. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. so, so thank, thank you both very much for sharing that. Um, so this holiday season is all about connection, kindness, and giving to others. All of these values can be summed up into one word, generosity. Um, the dictionary definition of generous means being ready to give more than what is expected. But all of us listeners, we're much more interested in hearing your guys' personal definitions of generosity. Um, so whoever would like to go first, what do you think of when you think of the word generosity? I gotta say, I am blown, um, bowled over um, every time I go out in the field and see the community members come out and the generosity of spirit that they have when they come to our parks and they're constantly um, giving back to the community as a whole. You know, our parks are such special places for our community. Um, and it's, it takes our whole community to take care of them. And so um, every week we're running these programs where people can come out and give back. And it's just, I really am overwhelmed when I think about how many people are working together to make our shared spaces nicer. It's really lovely. That's absolutely beautiful. And these events, just for um, all the listeners who aren't as familiar with um, PRNS and our volunteer programs, these are things that you offer uh, these are volunteer events that are offered all across um, San Jose, like for all residents? Yes, absolutely. So our program's really special. We go out to a different park every week and um, we'll make a plan of that's unique to each park for what that park needs to mm -hmm. uplift it and make it a nicer place. Um, we do things like put mulch in garden beds. Um, we paint picnic areas, we clean graffiti, we do litter pickups, just like BSJ does, uh, Beautify San Jose does. We do, um, well, our program's a little bit different, but we also do litter pickups. <laughs> um, we, um, we look at what each part needs especially, and then we make a plan so when our volunteers come out, their impacts at, at the greatest it, um, it can be. Um, Amazing. I love. So in a way, like when you think of generosity, you also in a way think of community just because there's so many different people who are like coming out um, to volunteer. I definitely think that our community is very generous and there is a connection between that. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. I it, it really is. It's such a giving thing. Like people don't have to at all. There's no obligation that says you have to come out and volunteer. Um, that is the the whole, the word volunteer, you know, is dependent on people being generous in spirit and being willing to come out and give something a little extra. It really does fit that definition that you said earlier. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I just think that uh, I, I am impressed and, and um, humbled by the generosity I see all the time. It's really beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's amazing. Oh my goodness, that just that just hit me in my heartstrings a little bit. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, so sorry, lost my train of thought there. Um, now for Julian, uh, what do you think of when you think of the word generosity? Um, I think as a general definition, when I think of generosity, I think of an action that someone is doing that they don't necessarily have to be doing, or it's more of an action that's not for themselves. Um, I think generosity shines more when especially when someone doesn't have something and they are still going out of their way to help someone who does need something um i think the use of the community is a good example we also do litter cleanups like lauren was saying and uh, it's always very surprising to me to see how many people go out to each and every event and how excited they are to volunteer um growing up i never really understood it but I think that the community has kind of opened my eyes to that and has made me realize why it's so important that 
we build these uh, connections to our community and to the people in our community that we actually live with. So I would say the volunteers are the best example of generosity that we see pretty consistently um, because it takes time out of your day and we don't always have time and it's always very respectable and very cool to see that everybody is always willing to help um, for free cost and to support their communities. That's also really lovely. I think that the uh, Webster Dictionary, Merriam Dictionary, whichever one, I think they should change their definition to what y'all said. Um, that's really beautiful. And it's really amazing <laughs> to hear that there's so many people just in San Jose who are so willing to just, you know, take that time out of their day to come out and do something that's, you know, good for the community, that's good for, you know, their neighbors, good for each other, even though they're not necessarily receiving, like, something, you know, physical or material in return for that. Just the those feelings of knowing that you're doing something good for the community are enough. That's really amazing. It's very inspiring to see so many active San Joseans out there giving back. It's beautiful. So thank you both. Um, now I would love to ask, um, what are your guys' personal favorite ways of showing generosity in your own lives? How do you like to give back to others in the community? I think um, when I think about community, I think about the people that I'm often, you know, in, you know, uh, engrossed in, um, the people that I have connections with. Um, I think everyone can look at themselves and see the various levels of community that we have. Um, you know, your family is the first level, I would say, and then your friends come after that. And then there are all these subgroups that you might be involved in. And then finally, of course, um, your your city and your greater community. Um, and when I think about um, my favorite ways to give back, I think first of like trying to forge connections and really um, see the people around me and um, uh, see if there are ways that I can help or meet their needs in a way that is, is um, you know, meaningful. Um, there's so many ways that you can help your community um, through volunteering or through donating to charity. Um, I know that, for instance, we had a bake sale recently at um, at PRNS, um, and I was very excited to participate as a person baking uh, baking cookies. And I think there are all these little opportunities that you see, uh, especially in this season, where um, there are people asking for help. Um, in little ways, and you can continue to give back. Or sometimes it's in big ways. Um, I know that you can, uh, donating your time um, is is a really meaningful thing. Um, I know I'm volunteering in, for a couple of different uh, communities that I'm in. And every time I do, I just feel um, really like I'm giving back to something that I've been taking advantage of for this whole year. So it's a nice time to, to do that. That's lovely. Um, do you mind if I ask what types of um, volunteering are you currently um, doing right now? You don't have to name like specific organizations if you're not comfortable, but like um, what types of volunteering do you do? Um, facilitating, sometimes it's facilitating group meetings um, and being a thought partner in those settings, um, trying to be a leader within uh, my community when I'm facilitating those meetings um, so we can plan different events and plan different fun things to do um, for our various groups. So you work for VMU and your main your main role I, from what it sounds like is you do a lot of coordinating with volunteers and with staff to you know make these events happen and then in your personal time you're also facilitating and coordinating meetings to help you know, things flow. So that's really amazing how, in a way, like the things that you do in your work life, in your personal life, they kind of, they like synergize in a way. I don't know if that makes sense, but it kind of all flows. I find that it's true. Um, you kind of, uh, I've, I, I get a lot of exposure to volunteers in my daily life, but it's something I very much value in my mm -hmm. personal life too. That's really beautiful. I think that's also why you're such a great fit for the role that you're into is because you have those virtues already within you. And those are things that you've already been doing in your personal life. So it's really awesome to hear that. And also, since this is our first time meeting, I just want to say that it's really super, super cool to hear. Um, so thank you very much for sharing that. That was really awesome. <laughs>
Um, what was I saying? Oh, um, for Julian, uh, we're gonna go ahead and ask you now, what are your favorite ways of showing generosity? How do you like to give back to others in the community? Um, usually, if I, whenever I do give back to the community, it's through volunteering. Um, that can be through a lot of different ways. Uh, my mom and I a few times have gone to help hand out like food and water to some of the areas where we have a lot of homeless encampments here in San Jose. Um, that always feels good to help people who are really in need. And then recently, also volunteering for events that already kind of bring the community and the city together, like the Water Lantern Festival was something that I volunteered for. It was really cool to see a lot of um, families and couples and everybody kind of just unite with this great view. And it was really cool to see how the event was set up fully pretty much by volunteers and how it was executed perfectly. Um, I think another thing that people may not really consider and I think is giving back to community is sharing culture, um, especially here in San Jose. We have a very diverse group of people and there's in turn of that, there's plenty of different cultures around here. And I think by living in San Jose, I've picked up on a lot of different cultures and I've been able to share some of my culture with the community. And I think it kind of uh, unites our city and our community and it allows us to all respect each other and to understand all the amazing things about each other and our culture and our heritage. Um, one thing that we, that I like sharing with people is dancing, uh, specifically Latin dancing, because uh, I think it's a really like fun experience and it, I've definitely seen it bring people together. And whenever anybody learns or they're exposed to it, um, it's usually just like a very positive view into one of the many cultures that we have here in San Jose. Um, yeah. That's really awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I think I actually, I think I might have seen one of your group's performances. I don't know if you were there, but um, was it for the, the PRNS, like the department picnic that we had? Were you guys at that one or was it? Am I thinking something? Um, we were at the department picnic and then we were also at the volunteer uh, recognition event. Oh, okay. I don't think I was there for the recognition event, but I do remember the picnic. Y'all are good. That was really cool to watch. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, totally. That's awesome. So that was very interesting how you said like sharing culture is like another way of like being generous and like kind of giving back to the community because we all really do learn something from each other and all of our you know, our unique cultures and, you know, our traditions and everything like that. That's really Julian, cool. that was like a really well said uh, moment there. I just, I so agree that like sharing culture is such a wonderful thing that we particularly in San Jose um, get to, ex you know, experience because we are such a diverse community. Um, yeah, it's, I, I love it too. Like I, I've go to San Jose state, so I'm exposed to so many different cultures um like literally every culture it seems like and i've been exposed to so many like delicious food places uh different kinds of dance parties uh different kinds of people and a lot of like awesome things that uh are here and it i think when people share their culture it kind of like allows everybody to share these positive experiences together so um i think that's like one of the coolest things and it's like honestly what makes me the most happy I think. Wow. Thank you guys. Mm. Thank you both. Oh, that was so inspiring. I feel like mine is lame now. I just <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like I just like to plant I like to go to tree plantings <laughs> but that was uh, so much cooler. <laughs> I love love to plant some trees. We just had a we just had a tree planting out at Allen Rock Park. Oh um, my goodness. That's it was so, so wonderful. Um they planted a bunch of trees and um the rangers gave a like an interpretive talk and uh it they look i mean it's it's so special it, it planted tree plantings are really special they um because you know that once you do it you know it's something that continues um to grow throughout time and so you can come back and see your tree grow up i know that um when we were children we planted a tree in my yard and um, you know, it's very, it's a special tree <laughs> because you go back and you're like, that's the one I planted. It's now huge. You know, I, don't, I just love that. That's so beautiful. Oh, can I ask, this was at Alum Rock, this was last week? 
Mm, I want to say it was two weeks ago. Yeah. Wow. Can I ask how many, um, like how many, do you know, like how many trees everybody ended up planting? I know that's kind of like, it was just, question. it was a small one. I believe it was just, um, five trees and it was about, uh, 10 people who helped. Um, that's amazing. But uh, it was like very lucky because we learned that they wanted to have a tree planting. And then we had this other group of people who were looking for a volunteer event. Um, and it just happened that they wanted to do it at the same time on the same day. <laughs> I was like, wow. I'm just saying, let's send those <laughs> to get, get these groups together. <laughs> what a coincidence of how that worked out. That's amazing. I was lucky. I, oh. I, I really loved that part of my job, getting to connect people who want to help with work um, with they want to help with improving the parks, with planting trees, with doing all sorts of wonderful um, things to give back in our parks. And then I have all these parks who need help. And so if I can, you know, I'm the person in the middle making sure that they get together. It just feels like very meaningful uh, that's to incredibly me. incredibly rewarding. Yeah. That is amazing too. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Nope, that's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, it's really cool that that oh, that was also held at Allen Rock Park because I know over the last couple of years, you know, they've experienced, you know, just like with weather and everything, there's been a lot of repairs that have been done to the park. So knowing that uh, we're planting some more trees is just another way that we're keeping a very a vital, or I will personally say, a vital aspect of our park system, of very much alive and thriving and always growing. That's really cool. Oh, I wish I was there. This I'm nearby Allen Rock too. <laughs> random off note. I'm sure there are going to be more in the future. Yes, looking forward to those. Um, so all of this talk about generosity has me feeling extra inspired, extra sentimental in my feelings, I guess you could say, <laughs> for this holiday season. Um, and we hope that everyone who is listening right now is feeling the same. So while we're talking about volunteering and opportunities, what opportunities um, does your program offer to residents who want to express their generosity this holiday season? I'm really excited that you you asked that because we do have a bunch of really exciting events. Um, and anyone can look online at our website, um, the city website, to see where to go for our various events. Um, we do have one coming up on December 7th at Roosevelt Park. It's gonna be a really exciting day um, to help out that park. There's gonna be lots of painting tasks. We'll be um, filling the playground with chip probably. Um, it's And it's a park that we're collaborating to make sure that it gets some care and love and um, send some positive vibes over there. We'll also be doing a litter pickup and hopefully we'll sell, well, it's free to join, but hopefully every single spot in our 75 spots will fill up for that one. Um, we have an event every weekend um, and sometimes two events moving forward. Um, we also have a tree planting. I know you had mentioned that on December 14th at the Guad Guadalupe River Park. Um, so we would really like to see some volunteers sign up for that as well. Oh, that'll be so exciting. And awesome. And then is there anything, Um, I know this is next year, 2025, but are there any maybe upcoming opportunities that um, listeners can look forward to in the new year? You know, as part of their new year's resolution. <laughs> we go to different parks every single week. And one of the cool things about our program is that because we do that, if you come every week, you get to see all the parks of San Jose or many, many parks of San Jose. Um, it's a, We do see a lot of people come back again and again. And we love that because that's also where community, our community um, and our, with one another, you know, grows when we see those people come again and again. Um, we love anyone to give at any level that they're comfortable giving but we especially love when we start to get to know you on a personal level when you come out to our events because um, we just think that's great. Beautiful. And I really loved how you described about how, you know, those people who keep coming back, you know, and not just volunteering the one time, but multiple times, it's just a really great way to build community. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> a great way to build community, to build connections with neighbors, whether they're like at the same park as you or they're like on the complete opposite side of town. Like, we're all San Jose residents. <laughs> so that's really I beautiful. A, um, I had a 
I, <laughs> I had a special project that we did recently, um, planting a garden. Um, and one thing that happened during that was that we had a person who was walking by um, stopped in to say hello and say, what was what's going on over here? And now they are working with our adopt a park group and they're caring for that garden on a weekly basis. Um, oh. It's really special to see people like um, finding ways to connect the community and then really care for these really special places that we share. Um, so I'm really looking forward to a new year full of lots of community connection and meeting new people in our parks. That's beautiful. I don't know if I could say this, but I'm um, cheers to that because that, that was beautiful. That was lovely. Definitely looking forward to um, the events that are coming up, as you mentioned, at Roosevelt Park, um, as well as the painting. And what is it? Ah, is tree, planting. Paint, tree planting. Tree planting at Guadalupe River Park coming up on the 14th as well. And there are so many more, there's so many more. Um, please take a look at um, the city website to see the various places you can come out and volunteer before the end of the year. I think we have something like 10 events. So lots and lots to do. Very, very exciting. And um, I'll make sure to include this link um, for all the volunteer information in the description box below. So that way all the listeners can, uh, can check back and see uh, what upcoming uh, volunteer events are happening and see if there's any near you. All right, lovely. Thank you so much. Um, and for Julian, um, what opportunities does your program offer to residents who want to express their generosity this holiday season? So one of the ways that residents can show their generosity and give back to the community is by signing up to be a volunteer through Beautify SJ. Uh, if you sign up to be a volunteer through Beautify SJ, you are given litter sticks, bags, gloves, vests, and you're able to uh, clean up your community whenever you want, whenever you want, um, and you're able to give back whenever you want. Um, I think what why that's important is because sometimes a lot of times our neighborhoods get really dirty, filled with trash, maybe there's a lot of illegal dumping, and oftentimes residents feel powerless in those situations. So giving them an opportunity to make a change in their own neighborhoods when the city is not able to help um, definitely gives a sense of empowerment and gives a sense of confidence of the people that live in these communities and want better for their neighborhoods. Um, another way that you can do this is by downloading the 311 app. Um, the 311 app allows you to report various issues uh, going on in your neighborhood or your community, such as potholes, broken street lights, illegal dumping, graffiti, and how it works. You take a picture, send it in, and a work report is created, and someone will take care of it from the city within a pretty short amount of time. Uh, you can download it on the App Store and Google Play. And I know for some phones, it doesn't work. So if that's the case, it's also a website. And you can use the website to do all the same things. So... Um, Basically, how that process works is there's a if you go onto the Beautify SJ website, uh, there's a big green circle that says volunteer. Um, if you click on that circle, scroll down, there's a link. Uh, it uh, allows you to create an account on Better Impact, which is our volunteer uh, kind of like data tracker. And then once you've created an account on Better Impact, you're immediately given access to all of these supplies. And you would just need to remain in contact with one of us from Beautify SJ. Additionally, you can schedule a time for any illegal dumping you may have um, to get picked up for free. I know a lot of the times people don't know how to get rid of their large items and usually going to the dump is very expensive, which is why illegal dumping exists. Um, so the 301 app acts as another opportunity for residents to be able to take manners into their own hands and to be able to rely on the city and beautify SJ um, to kind of help clean up their neighborhoods. We also, one last thing, <laughs> um, it's in the future in 2025, but every year we have two large citywide events. Um, this is the Great American Litter Pickup, which takes place on Earth Day and also the Autumn Litter Harvest. These are citywide events where multiple sites from around the city in all 10 districts uh, come together to host litter pickups and they're open to anybody in the community. Um, 
So that's a great opportunity. The autumn litter harvest happens usually early October. So if any of you guys listening are interested in volunteering and being part of something bigger uh, that the whole city is participating at the same time, that is an opportunity. Um, last thing, if you do sign up to be a volunteer uh, with Beautify SJ, you will be notified of any events uh, happening in the area or any events that uh, are open to everybody. So there will be opportunities, not just to clean for yourself and in your general neighborhood, but to help other neighborhoods and to be a part of a different community and to see uh, kind of how they work together to uh, keep their community safe and clean. Awesome, lovely. Um, and then um, for you, Lauren, um, let's say somebody wants to come out to Guadalupe River Park. Um, I actually really do want to come out to that event personally, just side note. Um, if somebody wants to volunteer for that event, what are the like steps that they would take um, to go ahead and volunteer? It couldn't be easier. Um, you can go onto the San Jose um, City website. Uh, we have a volunteer with us page. Um, all of our events, upcoming events are listed there. You can select whichever one and they'll lead you to a place where you can sign up. Um, it's it's simple. Once you arrive on site, we would we have a volunteer service agreement that everyone needs to sign. And if you're under 18, you'll need to have your parent sign it too. So um, uh, once you've done that, you're ready to volunteer with us. It couldn't be simpler. We'll um, get out there. Um, my team does a kickoff. We all do some stretching and then we'll go do a rundown of what tasks we're gonna do each day and um, get started. So come out to the park and volunteer. We'd love to see you there. Awesome. Um, just in case that there's any young younger listeners out there, or any parents, um, what is the youngest um, age that someone can volunteer? Volunteers who are 16 and under will need to bring their parents to volunteer. Um, but volunteers who have their parents' signature and are 16 and above can stay and volunteer with us. So we, we look forward to seeing you out there. We love it when teens come out to volunteer. We do sign off on hours. Teenagers need to have a parent sign their volunteer service agreement before they can come out and volunteer with us. But teens are welcome to volunteer without a parent. And younger than teenagers will ask that you bring your parent along. To awesome. That is exciting. Um, I just want to ask before um, I do the outro and wrap up, um, were there any final thoughts that y'all would like to share either about your program or about volunteer opportunities? Yeah, um, I think you asked a good question right now uh, in regards to younger listeners. Um, one thing that Beatify SJ also does offer for any group events we're hosting, um, if you're in high school or I think even some middle schools and you need community service hours, we are able to give those to you um, and they will count towards requirements. So I urge um, all of our young people to also come out and volunteer. Uh, once you can get those hours and then two, so you can kind of see like what it's actually like to be a part of a community that's cleaning up their neighborhood. Awesome. I love that. That's super cool. Get your school involved, love. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's very important to get the schools involved um, because they're able to like, there's obviously with students, there's a lot of students and there's a lot of uh, schools that are in communities and need. We've done plenty of litter cleanups where, They've cleaned up like either a nearby park or around their school on the surrounding streets. And it's always really cool to see the difference that they make uh, once everything is said and done. That's awesome. And then I'd just like to ask you, did you have any like final thoughts that you'd like to share about VMU or about um, um, opportunities at all? We are just very grateful. <laughs> we are very grateful for our community and we really, really want to thank everyone who has made such an impact on our parks this year. And uh, we look forward to working with our community for another wonderful year of volunteering in our parks. And we couldn't, uh, we, we just care, we love our parks so much and we're so thankful for each of you for giving just a little bit more to help. That was really beautiful. And that was a really great way to close. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, this is all so exciting. Um, it's amazing to see all the different ways people can give back throughout the holiday season and into 2025. 
From small things like saying something kind to someone to bigger actions like volunteering, we can all find ways to be generous within our communities. At PRNS, we are all about building connections and strengthening pride in our city. Showing generosity is a great way of building community pride, not just during the holidays, but all year long. So thank you very, very much. Thank you again, Lauren and Julian for chatting with me on this month's episode of A Walk in the Park. That's all for today. We hope that you take the time to check out these opportunities or find your own way of being generous. For more information about city programs and events, visit our website or follow us on social media. All links are going to be in the description box below. I'm Lauren. I'm Julian. And I'm Kieran. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening. listening. Woo-hoo!